So I'm incredibly bad at doing any of this video editing stuff, whatever, and I apologize for that. Um, but what I can do for you is I can kind of show you where I'm at right now. And I'll just do a real quick video here today. And we'll take a look at what I'm doing. What, where I'm at right now is I've got the J1, J2, J3, J4, J5, and J6 motors installed. I am in the process. I've skipped around a little bit because the mechanical stuff is easy to me. The soldering is atrocious to me. I've run into some issues, um, some things I'm going to need to take apart and put back together. Um, this part here, something isn't going right with it. It's not, it's not moving the way I, I would expect it to. So, and I think it's just because I need to add some more, add the grease. Um, I'm going to have to add some grease under here as well because this is too, a little too tight as well. Uh, these things here, um, I do not have a metal saw, so I'm going to have to take these to my friend's shop and get these sawed down, or maybe just buy a little hacksaw or something like that. I don't want to try using my, my no-name Dremel because I'm not, I don't want to mess them up, but, I mean, at this point, I have all the motors installed and I have all the encoders installed so I'm going to go ahead and just do as much of the wiring as I can and hopefully it'll be enough um, then once uh, my buddy is able to come help me again and I got some video of that I just have so many hours of video that it's daunting for me to sit there and do some editing so I may just take a dump of all the video I do at the end of this and of me building and just maybe pay somebody, you know, a couple hundred bucks to do some editing to just jam it all together to make it look like something cool. Um, on the plus side, I found these things and I absolutely despise Facebook ads, but this is making my life so much easier. So, I don't know if, if this is what it is. It's a little heat shrink tube with a tiny bit of solder in there. And all I have to do is wrap it around, wrap around the, the wire. Well, slide this on first, wrap the wires around each other, hit it with some, hit it with the heat gun, and it seems to make a pretty good bond. So, yeah, that might make a doing all of these all of these all these wires so much easier probably gonna have to buy some more of these buddy told me that they actually do sell them at um one of the local stores around here so i probably way overpaid for that but i don't care as for other projects that are in the works um i've been playing around with my raspberry pi so I printed out this enclosure for my little touch screen. And what I'm thinking about doing here is uh, connecting it up with a um, game emulator and just using that, um, play some old school games. Oh, oh do not want to show a picture of my face. So yeah, that's uh, just the state of the project. I figured you guys all deserve to hear about it. You know, the people that have watched the, the first first few. Um, and, you know, I got myself a little boom arm here, so hopefully I can get some much better quality video. Uh, and I got myself a little GoPro, which seems to work a lot better. Uh, than otherwise but yeah so here's the arm let's take a look at it I'm gonna move it a little bit here I should be able to give you guys a good view of it oh. 
Let's remove this. So we'll take a look here. That's about as far as I can get there. Yeah, by the way, my place is a mess. This is uh, <laughs> week like 327 of building the AR3. Uh, I'm going to be hitting the wiring box here pretty hard. And um, I don't know. Well, hopefully we'll uh, have an update in another couple of weeks. Uh, maybe I'll get another one next week. All right. Have a good one.